Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, where am I taking you back to today? Well, we're going back to the reign of the last Tudor monarch, Queen Elizabeth I. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 3rd of April, 1559, the Peace of Cato Cambresi was signed between King Henry II of France and King Philip II of Spain. Now, this peace was actually two separate treaties, and Queen Elizabeth I of England had signed one with King Henry II the previous day, on the 2nd of April, 1559. The treaties brought to an end the Italian Wars, a series of wars which had been rumbling on between the houses of Valois and Habsburg since 1494, 65 years, and which had been resurrected by Henry II in 1551. What were these Italian Wars about? Well, as the name suggests, they were about Italy, which at the time was made up of several kingdoms. The Valois and Habsburgs were vying for control of these kingdoms, each believing that they had a claim. And the trouble began when King Charles VIII of France invaded the Kingdom of Naples in 1494. He was forced to withdraw, however, when Maximilian I, Holy Roman Emperor, and Ferdinand V of Spain made an alliance with the League of Venice, an alliance of Italian states. How was England involved in all this, though? Well, in 1554, Queen Mary I had married Philip of Spain, son of Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, and England had supported Philip in his war with France, which, of course, saw England lose Calais, a territory which it had held since 1347. Mary's half-sister, Queen Elizabeth I, came to the throne after Mary's death on the 17th of November 1558 and was determined to broker peace with both France and the Empire. According to the agreement she signed with Henry II of France, Calais was recognised as an English territory in temporary French custody and the French agreed to give it back to England in eight years' time or pay an indemnity of half a million gold crowns. France was also to cease supporting the claim of Henry II's daughter-in-law, Mary, Queen of Scots, to the English throne. Henry II had proclaimed his son Francis the Dauphin and his wife Mary as King and Queen of England following the death of Queen Mary I. But what did France and Spain agree to on this day in 1559? Well, as the Encyclopaedia Britannica explains, the agreement left Habsburg Spain the dominant power in Italy for the next 150 years. France, who'd been soundly beaten in the most recent battles, for example, those of San Quentin and Graveline, had to renounce its hereditary claim to Milan, recognise Spanish control of Naples, Sicily and Sardinia, and restore Savoy and Piedmont to Emmanuel Philibert of Savoy, and restore Corsica to Genoa. However, France was able to hang on to five fortresses and three bishoprics. The terms of the treaty also included the agreement of a marriage between Philip and Elizabeth of Valois, King Henry II of France's daughter. Emmanuel Philibert of Savoy also married Margaret of France, Duchess of Berry, Henry II's sister. So that's the Peace of Cato Cambresi, which was signed between the major European powers on the 2nd and 3rd of April 1559. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 3rd of April 1578, Lady Margaret Douglas, Countess of Lennox, cousin of Queen Elizabeth I, was buried in a lavish funeral at Westminster Abbey. Find out about her tomb and her incredible lineage and links to royals in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to this channel and please, please do by clicking around about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. You can give me a like if you've enjoyed this video, which hopefully you have, and you can leave a comment as well. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.